Hello, I'm Deborah Jason with Creative Whispers of the Heart. And today, I'm going to be doing an abstract alcohol ink painting. But I'm going to use a slightly different blowing tool than you may have seen before. I got the idea for this painting from a colleague of mine. She was blowing with her mouth. Now, you might know that isopropyl alcohol, the fumes are toxic. So inhaling and exhaling using a straw is probably not the safest way to paint. I'm going to show you something new, a portable barbecue fan. That's what you'll see me using in this video. It is much slower than the hair dryer. You'll also see me manipulating the paper to create this effect. So let's move forward and start painting, shall we? So I'm starting with Purple Twilight. What I'm going to be doing here is just laying down the ink, not focusing on any specific design. Just want to put some inks on the paper. For this portion, I am using my hair dryer just to dry the ink and move it around a little bit. But again, not looking to do any specific design. I'm using mineral paper. This is a much thinner paper than UPO or some of the other synthetic papers. Now I'm going to add some amethyst, laying down the ink, some alcohol, and blowing it around with the hairdryer to dry it. Adding a little bit more alcohol there to dilute the color and move it a bit more around the paper. Again, not focusing on any particular design. Now I'm adding glacier. This is a beautiful, whoops, got a drop of ink that flew out of the bottle, but that's okay. I'm just going to add some alcohol and move it around. I think you've had that happen where you pour some ink and splatters but with alcohol ink, you can usually make it work somehow. Now I'm adding boysenberry, adding some isopropyl, and again, drying it, moving the ink around just a little bit. My goal here is really just to dry the ink on the paper so that then I can manipulate it later. Now I'm adding Laguna. It's a really pretty teal kind of color. And as you see, I just put down a drop of ink, add some alcohol, blow it around to move it, make it dry. As this is coming along, I wouldn't call this any kind of spectacular design, but you'll see what I do with it as we move forward. Drying this Laguna shade of teal, blue, green. And now I have all the colors down on paper and I'm going to add brass. Shaking up the bottle really well. This is not diluted, this is brass. Just drop, one drop and then I add alcohol to it. And mineral paper's thinner, so it's a little hard for me to pick up, but there we go. Swirling the ink now. Just, you can see I'm moving the paper kind of a circular direction to swirl the alcohol and the brass. And now I'm taking my portable barbecue fan and moving the ink and the brass around the paper. There you go, see it? Taking another drop of brass, straight out of the bottle, adding alcohol, lifting the paper and moving it around in a circular motion to get the alcohol to go in there and get the brass to move. You can see some of that blue is now moving so that we get a sort of a wispy color there and then pushing the ink from one side to the other side, 
using the barbecue fan. See? So I just go around the painting and add brass. Add alcohol, swirl the paper around, swirl it kind of slowly, and then take that fan. The fan blows much slower than the hair dryer. Makes it a little easier to move the inks around or control the inks. If you've ever had that problem with a blow dryer where you turn it on and the inks blow everywhere, you're probably holding the dryer in the wrong spot, but this flows very nicely. I will, by the way, have a link down below so you can see where to buy the barbecue fan if you're interested in it. And I can also give you a link to the mineral paper if that interests you. You can see I'm moving this ink and alcohol around so that the purple is blending in, pushing that from one side to another, adding a little bit more alcohol on the outside there so then I can push it in and then I push it out using the fan. And I like the way it's blending there, the blue and the Laguna and the brass. As with most alcohol ink painting, at least when I'm painting, it's kind of an intuitive process. You look at your painting, see where you think you want to go with it, and go with the flow. A little bit of an up-close view. This piece of paper is five inches by seven inches. I wanted to keep it fairly small for this demonstration. Now you can see I'm blending that purple and the Laguna and the blue, just slowly swirling the paper and then adding the fan to push the inks a little bit further. So as I'm moving the inks around, I see a flower forming on the left-hand side of that painting. It wasn't intentional, but you never know what's going to happen with alcohol inks. See it? Now I'm going to go to the other side and down there by the boysenberry and start to move that around. Add a little bit more alcohol and using the fan here to push it and create again sort of another wispy spot right there. You can see it gets wispy when it's lighter because you add alcohol. <clears throat> and push it. You don't add more ink necessarily. You get the alcohol and then push the alcohol and the paint using the fan. And you can see it's a little bit of a wisp right there. Here you can see I'm doing that little boysenberry spot and moving the ink, circling around with the paper. and blowing it. 
blowing it with the barbecue fan. By the way, I mentioned that the fumes of alcohol are toxic, so I am actually wearing a respirator mask as I paint this, but I am doing a voiceover separately because you can imagine it's not too easy to speak through a mask and have you understand me. So be sure that you stay safe, work in a ventilated area, have a respirator mask, and have fun. So I'm working down here on this corner. Look how sparkly and glittery. Brass is so much fun. <clears throat> Adding another drop of brass down there. Add some alcohol to push it around. Whoops, my paper was blowing around because the fan moved it. Mineral paper is very light. But you can see I'm using my finger again to break up that brass. It's getting kind of wispy in spots. I think you can see that on the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to this area where the Laguna is and moving the paper around to get the Laguna to move and to get the brass to move. Adding a little bit more alcohol there. And I want to try, I think, to fill up that corner a little bit. Push the Laguna with the fan. Break up the brass again. Now I'm gonna add some more alcohol to that. With alcohol ink, you just kind of take it one step at a time. You might have something in mind when you start your painting and inks can go in a totally different direction than what you expected. But so far, this is going somewhat as planned. So I have fast forwarded the video a little bit. You get the idea of the process where I'm dropping ink, adding some alcohol, in this case, I wanted a little bit more blue, so I did go back to my hair dryer. You could see I wanted to move it a little quicker than the barbecue fan would allow. So I'm just pushing some of the blue around with the 500 watt hair dryer. Now I can go back in with some brass, add some alcohol, and start reworking that area so it gets more wispy. You see I'm pushing the brass around with the barbecue fan. And now I'm going to lift the paper and add some alcohol to move some of that blue around some more, lighten it up and get it to be more wispy. See how I am sort of moving in a slow circular motion. You can see the brass moving around, taking my fan and pushing some of the alcohol, reactivating that glacier blue and getting some more of that wispy effect by moving it around with the fan and blending it with isopropyl alcohol. Moving it along the, the, what looks like the top of the page for you, but it's the bottom of the sheet of paper for me. So now as I look at the piece, I feel like it needs some more Laguna. So I put it up there in that corner, added some ink, and now I'm putting in the brass and the alcohol, moving it around to reactivate the ink and start to get some of that wispy effect. 
You can see I kind of go side to side with the barbecue fan. Depends on which direction I'm trying to move the alcohol and the ink. I'm gonna go over here back to the purple area, the combination of boysenberry and the purple twilight and start to move that around and fill in some of the space. That area where there's also Laguna. And I just keep doing this, looking at the piece and seeing where it needs ink or alcohol until I get to the point where it's actually done. And here's what it looks like. I am really pleased with the way that it turned out. You just never know. Sometimes you start a painting and you have an idea in mind and it comes out totally different than what you envisioned when you started. But I hope you enjoyed this and that you will give it a try. And thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to either like, comment, or share. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching.